National Puppy Day is tomorrow, and we just couldn't wait to talk about it. Nope. This morning, we're highlighting a new startup in Minneapolis that gives back to shelters and rescues with every item purchased. Kylie joins us now with the founder of Cuddle Mutt. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Kim. I love this idea. When I first heard about Cuddle Mutt, I thought, what a brilliant idea. And we are so excited to have the founder, Kristen Ferris, with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so tell me a little bit about what Cuddle Mutt is, because for every person who buys a blanket to give to their dog, you guys give one to a shelter. Yes, correct. So blanket or collar for every item we sell, we yeah. donate a blanket to a shelter or rescue dog in need. So Cuddle Mutt was inspired by my fostering through secondhand hounds. Mm -hmm. And I've been fostering for a few years now and decided to create a company to help as well. So we have our soft, cozy signature blanket. Let's talk about this blanket yes. because it is insanely soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is cozy. Yeah, <laughs> only the best for the dogs. Yeah. Really cool. And we were just talking about the blue actually mm -hmm. has a pretty significant meaning here. It's not Correct. boy, girl. It's, you do blue for what reason? Um, the reason is that dogs, or at least scientists think, uh, can see blue. And so this color was chosen specifically specifically for dogs and the blankets designed for dogs. Yeah. And yeah, they can see it. So um, hopefully it adds some color to their life. Uh, and in a shelter environment, it can get scary. So having yeah. a soft, warm blanket to cuddle up next to is always nice. Why did you want to start fostering the animals? Uh, when I started fostering, I just really wanted to, I well, of course, love dogs. I'm yeah. a dog lover and wanted to make a difference. And so a friend of mine had done it. And so I decided, well, I should, you know, help out as well. So I thought I would just do one, but <laughs> of course you get addicted. Yeah. And so now I've done um, about 30. So that's incredible. Yeah, it's a great experience and it's rewarding. So I'd encourage anyone to do it if they have some uh, love to spare. And I know that when you were fostering and you would send the animals to their new forever home, it was a blanket that you sent with them that kind of sparked this whole idea. Yes, it, it definitely was. So uh, blankets I found were the sense of security yeah. and provided warmth and just gave them comfort. And so I'd always have a blanket ready for them whenever I'd go pick them up and bring them into my home. And uh, then it was something familiar that I would send with them. So it also oh, it was there the whole journey. Yeah, there the whole journey. That's right. so cool. And it helped with the transition. And so um, I found there was a need for shelters and rescues mm -hmm. to have blankets. And so I thought I would start something so I could donate them to shelters and rescues. Yeah, I love that. And then you, you, of course, there's the, the collars too. Vegan yes. leather? Vegan leather. Oh. So they uh, are animal friendly, but they replicate the properties of leather. So they're strong, durable, um, but they come in some fun colors. And they're very uh, cute. Yeah. So we have our strong. Uh, material and then mm -hmm. gold plates and so it's fancy but um, and a blanket will be going to a shelter if you purchase that too absolutely and so where can people find you're all online right now yep we're online only for now and so we're on www.cuddlemutt.com there's our website Cute. and then uh, we also have a social media presence so we're on Facebook and Instagram so give us a like a follow follow our journey again our true mission is to help dogs in need that's fantastic Kristen you do such great work just in time for National Puppy Day tomorrow and I know for yes. CC viewers you've got a little deal we have a deal so on um, cuddle Mutt, if you go to the website and at checkout you can type in WCCO for a coupon code for 10% off your purchase perfect and it still goes all that blanket right back to the shelter absolutely thanks for getting up early with us I love Thank this idea you. Jason and Kim very similar to kind of the the love your melon mm -hmm. style business product where I think that uh, you know we see especially Millennials as something they're really gravitating toward they want to give back with their purchases yeah I think it's a great idea and I learned something new I had no idea that dog can see blue that way. I didn't know either. All right. Very okay. cool. Thanks, Kylie. All right. Tomorrow, the cutest day of the year, yeah. National wow. Puppy Day. We're excited about it around here. And a new startup in Minneapolis is giving back to shelters and rescues every time somebody buys something from them. Kylie Burst at our Nicollet Mall studio to tell us more about Cuddle Mutt. Hey, Kylie. Hey, Jason. I love this idea. I first heard about Cuddle Mutt a couple of months ago, and I thought, this is brilliant. So if you love your pet and you love helping other dogs in the shelter, this is exactly what you're looking for. And we're so excited to have Kristen Ferris with us, the founder of Cuddle Mutt. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about uh, how this got started. Sure. So Cuddle Mutt uh, started about six months ago. So yeah. we're a startup. and. It was uh, inspired by the idea through my fostering. So mm -hmm. I foster through Secondhand Hounds, a local Minnesota rescue. And through the fostering, I noticed that whenever I had a dog that I would take in, I'd always make sure I'd welcome him or her with a blanket, a soft, cozy, soft blanket that uh, they could feel comfortable mm -hmm. and a sense of security. 
And so I noticed that there was a need at Shelters and Rescues for blankets for others that are doing the same. Uh, so I decided to start a business out of it. It's fantastic. So tell me how it works because uh, yeah. you buy a, your your own pet and a, a blanket yes. and then one goes to a shelter? Absolutely. So a blanket or one of our vegan leather collars, um, for every item we do sell, exactly, we donate a blanket to a shelter or rescue. Our mission is to provide as many blankets as possible to dogs in need and really make a difference. Yeah, and I know that we're looking at the collars right now. They're yeah. beautiful. I mean, in, and these are actually vegan leather? They're vegan leather, so yeah. which means they're animal friendly. So they replicate the properties of leather. They're strong, durable, but I'm able to do some fun colors as well as make it animal friendly. Yeah. So. What are you hearing from the shelters when you get to show up with these really nice blankets? There is such a need for it. There is a need, and they're so grateful, yeah. and uh, it's just so rewarding being able to actually hand them out to the dogs, and that you can just see them kind of cozy up into it and yeah um, it's the least we can do as they wait for their forever home well because I know the fostering is it, that's the ideal way for a pet to wait for a home you're in a family but that's not the reality for a lot of dogs absolutely yeah there's about according to the uh, ASPCA there's about three million dogs in wow. shelters um, that need a home and really just it's nice to provide a blanket. Yeah, to and they need blankets them. too. Yeah, they do. Uh, and these are so soft, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they're specifically designed for dogs. So we try to make them as cozy as possible mm -hmm. because, you know, what dog or human doesn't like a exactly. cozy blanket? And then we design them with the blue color because the blue um, is a color dogs can see. Really? So, really. So it's um, a fun fact that. Uh, we really try to provide some color into their life. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to be attracted to it uh, just because they can see it, you know, based on their black and white spectrum. I love it. And, okay, so Kristen, you guys yes. are only online right now. Where can people find your products? Uh, right now, yep, we're only online. We do come to some pop-up yep. uh, shops, but online, www.cuddlemont.com, like you're showing there. And then we also have a presence on Facebook and Instagram, so give us a like, a follow. Uh, we're really trying to get the word out and make an impact. I love it. Kristen, thank you so much for coming in thank this morning. Thank you. Yeah, and we have a special offer for oh, your yeah. followers. So if you use code WCCO at checkout, we'll give uh, you 10% off your order. So thank you again for having us. And of course. We hope to make an impact. Well, we love showing new local startups, especially when it's for such a good cause. And Jason yeah. and Kim, I'm telling you, this is like the softest blanket that you'd ever talk Oh. I'll bring it down so you can try it. <laughs> yes, it's not for humans. Maybe it's not bad for humans, for too. One. There you go. Thanks, Kylie. <laughs>